Speech over professional demo. Adding professional voices to PowerPoint, quickly and easily. Hello, my name is Heather. Today, I'll be talking about speech over professional software that uses text-to-speech voices to add and update voice narration in PowerPoint presentations, quickly and easily without any microphone recording. SpeechOver is very different from other text-to-speech applications, it does not just read the text on the screen. SpeechOver lets you simulate a live presenter's talk, with animated screen text, graphics and charts. In a live presentation, the presenter coordinates his speech with the slide animations. SpeechOver also coordinates the voice narration with slide animations to convey the learning impact of the live presentation. First, I'll show you, schematically, how it works. SpeechOver converts presenter text input into narration clips, which are either linked to screen objects or to the slide background. SpeechOver inputs the presenter's text and links it with the title. SpeechOver creates three animation effects, which appear on the custom animation panel. The first effect causes the screen title to appear. The second effect causes the narration subtitle to appear at the bottom of the screen. The third effect is a sound media effect, the voice narration, which is produced by a text-to-speech voice reading the text. The media effect is the first section of the audio track. All three effects occur at the same time, the voice reads the script as the title and subtitle appear. The animation effects for the text bullet are added next in the slide timeline, so that this narration clip will play directly after the first narration clip in the voice track. Now that we understand the concept of speech over, we'll see how narration clips are added to a presentation using the actual speech over controls. The speech over controls operate from within PowerPoint and are well integrated with the PowerPoint commands. The main speech over menu is here in the menu bar. And here is the speech over toolbar. Narration clips are most easily viewed with the clip organizer. I'll open it from the speech over main menu. You create a narration clip for a selected screen object with the add narration clip dialog, which is open by right click on the screen object for PowerPoint 2003 only or click on the toolbar or ribbon button. Selecting the title and using the toolbar button, I'll open the Add Narration Clip dialog. The narration section at the top of the dialog has a drop-down box where you can choose the text-to-speech voice that will be used to read the text. Each voice represents a software voice program that is purchased from a voice vendor and installed on the computer separately from the SpeechOver program. SpeechOver Professional US English comes with Nia Speech Paul and Acapella Heather. We'll use Paul. Now let's look at the speech text entry area at the bottom, which is a series of tabs containing the various options. The clip text tab lets you enter the text by many different methods, typing in, pasting, importing, and dictating. The screen text is initially displayed there, but it is usually replaced with the presenter's script. I'll paste the script text into the text area. Once the text is in, you can add modulation tags with the speech modulation buttons, including delays, volume, speed and pitch changes and emphasis. The subtitle tab is provided in case you need to display subtitles that are different from the clip text. The animation tab lets you specify the screen object animation effect that accompanies the narration clip. On the tab you can choose the effect type, let's use the fade effect the effect trigger, the effect delay, its duration, whether entrance or exit, and the speech trigger, which specifies the timing of the narration relative to the animation. The pronunciation tab lets you instruct the voices exactly how to say difficult words and special company names or phrases using a phonetic language. The words and their pronunciation are stored in a lexicon. The background sound tab lets you specify a sound file to play behind the voices. Now click OK. After a couple of seconds the narration clip is created. The animation effects appear in the custom animation panel. And, 
we see the clip in the clip organizer as a row in the sequential clips panel. The script appears as a tool tip. Now, I'll add a narration clip to the first text bullet. Selecting it, and clicking the toolbar button, the add narration clip dialog opens. We paste in the script. On the animation tab, we choose the wipe effect. Select a delay of 0.5 seconds, and clicking OK, the narration clip is created. You see it in the custom animation and as a row in the clip organizer. The clips for text paragraphs are displayed on the lower panel of the clip organizer when the placeholder is clicked on the top panel, as follows. Now I'll show you how these clips play in sequence in the presentation slideshow. Play the slideshow for the slide by hitting the slideshow button on the toolbar. Notice how the clips are coordinated with the animations of the text. There are so many Starbucks coffees to choose from. Learn more about coffee, cupping and the senses. Ultimately, tasting is comparing and contrasting. Tasting only one coffee at a time does not create any context. But if you taste two or three coffees, you can compare them in terms of your personal preference, but also in terms of aroma, acidity, body, and flavor. Now let's see a few more of the powerful features of SpeechOver. To create narration that plays in the slide background, select the background and click the Add Narration Clip button on the toolbar. Enter a title for the clip. And enter text as before. The clip is linked to a document shape below the visible screen. The order in which the clips play can be determined either by their sequence in the clip organizer or by their sequence in the custom animation panel. Use the clip organizer when starting with a blank presentation and custom animation for existing animated presentations. With the first method, the narration clips can be reordered on the clip organizer, changing the order in the voice track. Select the clip you want to move up or down in the sequence, and use the up-down arrows to reorder it. It's easy to make changes to edit an individual narration clip. Select its shape on the screen and hit the Edit Narration Clip button on the toolbar. Alternatively, right-click on the clip's row on the clip organizer and select Edit. The convenient Edit Slide Clip Text dialog lets you edit the text for all narration clips on a slide on one screen. The clip texts appear in playing order, with titles that refer to the screen objects to which they are linked. SpeechOver can produce very effective notes for distribution by automatically outputting the formatted clip text to the PowerPoint Notes pane. SpeechOver also features global copy and paste of narration clips from one screen object to another. Useful for creating new clips from existing ones. Accessible from the clip organizer and the toolbar. Now let's look at the SpeechOver preferences. The general preferences let you produce any combination of audio and subtitles and allow you to set the audio quality. The notes publishing preferences let you control writing clip text to the PowerPoint note pane. The animation preferences let you control the way the narration clips are ordered by clip organizer or by custom animation as previously mentioned and set defaults for the screen object animations. The text-to-speech voice schemes let you define voice schemes similar to color schemes in a presentation and set the default text-to-speech voices that are used. Finally, the text-to-speech voices tab shows the voices that are installed and lets you set the default speed and volume for individual voices. That's it for our demo. Visit our site www.speechover.com today. Download a free trial version of SpeechOver Professional and create a voice narration for your presentations quickly and easily.